Well, it's Wednesday, folks. You know what that means. Happy Homebrew Wednesday guys, a few updates for you today. First of all, this is the uh, beer that I've just poured out of the keg. It is um, the latest warm fermented Pilsner that I've done. Uh, I've got a grain to glass video coming up on this soon. It's only been in the keg for uh, just under a week. Yeah, six days. No, not even that, five days. So it's very young, uh, it has been fined with gelatin because it is the global yeast which is very powdery but it's uh, looking like it's clearing down a bit already and uh, it's tasting really good for such a young uh, lager, particularly one that's been warm fermented so look out for the grain to glass on that coming up soon, should be good. Uh, last night I did the um, first meeting of the Bedford Home Brewers Group that I've helped set up with the aid of uh, Tim, who owns the bottle shop in town called Beerfly, very uh, generous of him to host the event, and uh, well, basically it wouldn't have happened without him him offering because he kind of got in contact with me and asked if I wanted to help set the thing up, which I did, and I'm pleased to say it was a brilliant night and uh, really well attended. We had, I think, in the end, the best part of 20, if not more, people turned up. I was wasn't even aware that there was you know the potential for that many people. To, turn up we had you know 10 or so on the Facebook group saying that they were coming I knew there'd be a couple extra on top of that but with these things sometimes people say they're coming and then they don't turn up and you know it ends up a little bit uh, under understaffed shall we say but uh, this one loads of people came and everyone seemed to enjoy it it was very friendly informal lots of chat about beer uh, and some really really good beers turned up as well so it was a uh, it was a really good variety too, so we didn't set any sort of theme for it, we just said bring whatever you've got. And uh, we started off the evening with Blonde Stout, so that was quite um, quite a kind of left field beer to start the evening with, but really nice. And uh, there was a Goes there, a Gooseberry Goes, it was really good. Lots of other uh, decent beers. Um, got some good feedback on my beers from people, which was really nice as well, so thanks for that. Probably just being nice to me because I was uh, the one who organised it, but uh, you never know. So, yeah, great night, great company. Again, uh, thanks to Tim and Beer5 for hosting us, and it was just uh, better than I could have uh, expected. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to doing some more of those, and if uh, any of you are in Bedford or in the surrounding area who are interested in coming along, I'm, yeah, obviously I'm going to recommend it because um, I'm kind of setting up, but... It was really good and it will be well worth coming down to the next one so there is another meeting scheduled for the 20th of November and uh, at the moment possibly going to be based around doing food and beer pairing so there should be some uh, free food as well as free drink there so should be good in that respect as well and uh, oh yeah no, the other person that I wanted to thank for last night was Phil who provided a load of free food as well so Philip Fawn um, who I know from the Milton Keynes group as well came over a bit of uh, support from a fellow brew tuber last night as well, Mick Martin, Flat Beer Brewing, uh, made his way over. So he's from uh, Milton Keynes, but he was uh, working in the air and popped uh, popped over after work. So cheers for that, Mick, as well for turning up. And um, yeah, just uh, really enjoyed it. So uh, that was great. And um, what else have I got to say about it? Came home with some nice beers from the shop as well, so realised on the way out that they uh, stock the Rochefort beers and uh, picked up a Rochefort 10, so great uh, great little prize to come home with. Had to pick up a Cherry Lambic for the wife as well because we stayed a bit later than expected, so I thought I'd better get some uh, compensation for her, but yeah, a couple of really nice beers from the shop too, so uh, great to go there and uh, obviously drink a load of homebrew but then be able to stock up as, on some nice uh, commercial beers as well at the end. Right, so that was last night, that was what I'm drinking now. What else can I tell you about? I've got a few beers brewing or have just been bottled. As I said, there's the 
Pilsner in the keg. That was the one that I did with uh, the hops that I got sent by David Charles Milne and some other stuff. He also sent me some yeast, a Belgian wit yeast, which was a bit out of date, so I wasn't sure whether it was going to come back to life, but I managed to regenerate it with a two-step starter, and it's in the bottom of the brew fridge there. You can just see it down the bottom. So I've brewed a uh, kind of traditional-style Belgian wit, and it's in there fermenting at the moment. So I've just been gradually warming that up as we go along. It's up to 22.5 degrees at the moment. Above that, I've got the... Founders Porter clone, which I've been meaning to make for ages, and there's also a grain to glass video coming on that once it's actually bottled and finished. I've been putting off bottling it because it's taking a while to get down to final gravity, so it's not quite at the predicted final gravity. I think it's going to finish a bit higher anyway, but I'm a bit reluctant to bottle anything too soon, especially dark beers when the uh, final gravity is still above 1020 ish. So I think it was about 1022 last time I measured it. It's mashed pretty high, so the target is something like 10.18, but that's still quite a long way to drop if it's not quite finished. So it's coming up to three weeks in the FE. I may leave it a little bit longer. I'll, I'll take another gravity reading, and if it's still at 10.22, then I'll probably bottle it at the weekend. If not, if it's dropped to another point or two, I'll, I'll probably leave it for the full four weeks, I think, and then just uh, go from there. So that's what's brewing. Uh, bottled... New Zealand IPA which used up the remainder of the Kahatu and the uh, Rewaka and some Mochuica as well the other day so I've got a load of bottles of that and uh, at the weekend hoping to probably brew a American Pale Ale so I've got a shit ton of hops that I've been buying off of Timmy Jenkins recently all really good by the way but uh, I need to start using some of those fuckers so I've got to uh, get, um, get some of those used up but I've got Citra, Amarillo, Simcoe, Galaxy, uh, Cascade as well, and 500 grams of each of them. Uh, well, not the Citra or the Amarillo, because I've used quite a bit of those already, but uh, the other three I've got full 500 grams of. So, American Pale Ale, Big Hoppy APA first, and then I think I'm going to have a go at my first uh, attempt at a New England IPA, because everyone's doing them. Got to get in on the game, and uh, although it's not necessarily a style that I'm, you know, that mad keen on, don't get me wrong, I really enjoy them, but I've not been that inclined to, to brew them yet, but I've got all these hops that really suit the style, and um, I just want to give it a go and see if I can turn anything out that's uh, even close to the stand of some of the beers that I've been sent by other people, uh, Timmy Jenkins really is who I'm talking about, I think you're all going to know, those of you that had his beers, that um, he's the one who's kind of, well for me, I don't know if anyone else has really sent me a New England IPA recently, but uh, even in terms of looking at commercial beers and stuff, um, the stuff that Timmy's knocking out is right up there. So uh, cheers for the, the beer mails again, Timmy. And uh, yeah, hopefully with the uh, aid of the super stinky hops that I've been buying off you, I'll be able to get something close to that as well. Anyway, so the other thing that I wanted to do in this video, obviously, was call a winner for the 1K subs competition. It's been quite a while. To be honest, I was a bit wiped out after the summer holidays, so had to uh, leave it a little bit for uh, payday. I wasn't just leaving it for long so that more people could enter, but I really uh, yeah, needed to wait until I had some money to actually pay for the prize. So let's do the draw. See who's won, and uh, good luck to you all. So let's, uh, let's do that now. Right, so here we go. YouTube comment picker, paste the link. Hit search, 61 commenters, so thanks to everyone who entered the competition. And for supporting the channel, let's pick a winner. Da, 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 da. Norfolk Hillbilly. Uh, yeah, so... Is it Clive? I think it's Clive. Yeah, because Norfolk Hillbilly's got his own channel, I'm pretty certain. And um, I believe it's uh, Clive, Clive Sillis, maybe? Uh, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong, please, if it, that's not you. But uh, get in touch, or I'll try and get in touch with you if I can work out whether that is, in fact, uh, the right person. And uh, we'll sort out your prize. So, um, yeah, congratulations to Norfolk Hillbilly, possibly also known as Clive. And uh, I hope you enjoy 
the uh, the prize and the beer mail that I'll be sending you. So I can't even remember what I said the prize was. Anyway, you can watch the uh, original video back and see what you've won. I think I said 25 quid's worth of um, beer ingredients or a voucher or something and some beer mail. So that's it. Yeah, so well done. And uh, thank you everybody for watching and, uh, like I said, supporting the channel. Uh, much appreciated. That's it for tonight, so uh, enjoy the rest of your Homebrew Wednesday. Adios. Right, just before I go, somebody mentioned on the 1000 subs video something about juggling or something like that. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't ever drink homebrew or anything before trying something like this because that would just be stupid, wouldn't it? I'm the dude, so that's what you call me, you know? Uh, that, or uh, his dudeness, or uh, duder, or, uh, you know, El Duderino.